Hey guys, Dark Ope here, and welcome to a new series on the channel. This time we're going to be doing Warhammer Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. I had my eye on this game since the start of this year, so I was really excited for when it was announced. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. For this campaign, I'll be doing it on the Ruthless difficulty. I played uh, the XCOM Slight games before, XCOM 1 and XCOM 2. So I think I know what I'm doing. I can't really do Resident Jerry at the moment because, again, this is all going to be really new and it's going to be a journey, really. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. It is the 41st millennium. For more than a hundred centuries, the Emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of Earth. Mankind wages a never-ending battle for survival against the demonic power of the Chaos Gods. But by one force is humanity shielded from true darkness. The Grey Knights. This secret chapter of Space Marines are the Imperium's surest defense against that which the Emperor foresaw would be its greatest threat. Humanity's blade against the Demon. For in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Unidentified Astartes vessel. This is Captain Parani Everick of the warship Holiness of Ra. Skeheris is lost. Repeat, Skeheris is lost. All Imperial vessels are to withdraw at once. Astartes vessel, do you read me? Skeheris is doomed. Please acknowledge this warning and... You have done all you can, Captain. Go, in the Emperor's light. You cannot sail into this storm. We do what we must. Farewell, Captain. Tech Priest, report. Hexagonic wards are under maximal pressure. Commander, we cannot maintain this orbit for long. Dispatch the assault team at once. I will join them and put an end to this myself. Your will be done. The assault team is engaged, Commander. They clear a path for your arrival. Here I stand. One unbreakable shield against the darkness. Tonight the Cadium falls, Hector. Our quest is finally near its end. Alright then, tutorial mission.
get ahead from this because it's going to take a little bit of lighting. Palamedes, report. We have cleared a path through this chaff. Our target lies ahead. Time is against us, brothers. We breach the cathedral. Deluded zealots. Your Imperium shall burn! Cowards and weaklings. Advancing into cover. Punish that craven fool. Oh wow, okay. I will end that heretic. God, okay, this is really cool. Dispense of that heretic with your blade. Grant them no quarter. Yes, Commander. I am the Emperor's Fury. You're out of cover, Uther. Trust in the Aegis. Interesting. Okay. Gods be with me! Pathetic. Ah, the horror! Die, Imperial Dog! Overwatch. Fall, monster! Rich. Here's a good spot. Time stands against us. I will breach the cathedral. Demons, I will not be delayed by these weaklings. Anthus, your brother is pinned. Advance and deliver retribution. By your command. Deploy your frag grenade, brother. Let's try. We are our okay. Let's see if I can Let's see if I could use the keypads to actually confirm stuff. Okay. Deliver the Emperor's judgment, Uther. Yep. <laughs> Advance and train your bolter on that doorway. 
Unleash your blessed ammunition the moment they are exposed. Palamedes, prepare for the demon's charge. At once, Commander. Soulless curs shall hinder us no longer. End that demon, Palamedes. Engage it now! Cannot lose another battle, brother Iolanthus. Both demons must be destroyed. Return to the jaws of your master. Move the camera when it's not the enemy's much time, turn. brothers. But we must prepare for the coming battle. I can I'm sense here, enemy reinforcements. Palamedes, resuscitate Uther so you may both defend against them. Take up defensive positions, Palamedes. The enemy reinforcements will be here soon. Resolve is commendable, Uther. Join Palamedes in defense of the cathedral. Iolanthus with me. There's a breach in the wall ahead. I will breach the inner sanctum. Emerges! 
Your cult is broken. Your ritual is ended. Relish this breath, for it is your last. Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull thrower! Side, I'll end this. I will show you true wrath, demon. Let me use three against two, and these guys all their health, so they're probably going to go down. <laughs> Precious time, Iolanthus. Flank that demon and fire at will. All right. For the Emperor! <laughs> you profane this sacred place with your master's fire. This ends now, demon. Ah. Ah. Ended. Where is that report? Report! Where is the commander? He died at Chapin's death. Blade on blade against the bow's blasphemy. Here we 
like, hey, <laughs> same tutorial kind of setting where you just have some people die and like at least one surviving. So that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, resilience, okay. So since it's the, the uh, ruthless difficulty, we have one less resilience, so you would typically have, I think, two. But we're only limited to now one. Okay, that's pretty cool. Long campaign over at last. A victory at the cost of the commander's life. Alive, he was ever a faithful servant to the Emperor. A true hero. In death, at least his duty has finally ended. Assertion. This ship remains in crisis. The Baleful Edict is seriously damaged. There are grievous matters to attend. Ah yes, that is why I have invited our guest. You have appointed him to take the Commander's place? No one else suitable survived the campaign. Falsehood, you also live. My apologies, Acting Commander. The priests of Mars do not understand our knightly oaths. <laughs> our men and stores are severely diminished. Your task is to lead us for the voyage home. It is a simple duty, and once we return to Titan, I will put the future of your command to the chapter's grandmasters. In the meantime, I will provide what advice I can. I will also support you with counsel and service. But remember, the Baleful Edict is my chief concern. Be careful with this ship. We sail for Titan on your word, Commander. <laughs> Strike Force Xyphos at your disposal. Commander, could you please join me in the strategium? Okay, now we get the names. One of our battle brothers has proved himself worthy. Let us honor his deeds. Iolanthus! Brother Ulrich is a talented justicar. Please decide where he should focus his training to support you in the field. Okay, With every be promotion, your knights insane. gain two ability points, <laughs> which you can use to expand their capabilities. All right. So this is already acquired. I'm trying to find names. So that's Cybolt. Okay, ranged weapons, so you can then go for a ranged upgrade. Let me just check again. He only really has... Core disciplines. 
honoring a chapter, okay. We go further this way, we get more melee skills, which is really good. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go... Okay, so if I went backwards and just did something like that. Okay, a very more support kind of role. Alright, uh, let's go with something... Let's just go with some immediate stuff. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> this is all new, so yeah, I literally have to look at all these things when I'm off camera. Just to have a look at everything, really. Boarding Swordsman. Or go for like a very armored build for this guy with just blades and swords. <laughs> really cool. Let's go this far. Confirming this promotion will apply your ability choices to Ulrich permanently increasing his rank. There we go. Excellent. When you are finished, please join me at the Star Map. Our ship is in dire need of repair. We had best set a course for Titan and debrief the Grand Masters. Issue the travel order to begin our return to Titan. Showing us how to do all this stuff. Really cool. This is really cool. God Emperor. Dominus, who is this interloper? Code scrapings indicate an inquisitorial transmission. Baleful Edict, prepare for my arrival. Duty calls, Commander. We should open a Vox link. Inquisitorial vessel, permission granted to come aboard. We get the Inquisitor.
Emperor, I found you. I must commandeer this vessel at once. Impossible. We are bound for Titan. The Edict cries out for repair. The Tech Priest speaks the truth, Inquisitor. Our last crusade bled us dry. I'm not blind, Knight. But heresy does not operate at our convenience. My destination is Karamar Prime, within this very system. Not such a taxing journey, I'd expect. And what is it that you hope to find there? This. Beneath rotting skies, the air thickens with a world's final breath. Seeds planted in flesh and bone, watered with blood and tears. A warrior alone in the garden of a grinning god. These are scraps of astropathic whimsy. There's more. It grows. It spreads. A great dispersal upon the etheric wind. The bloom proliferating. Fire. Then Korama, then world after world, its roots spread from an ancient veil. Inquisitor, hear me, hear me, hear me! Who tends the garden? The Astropath sacrificed himself to send that message. Now you understand why we must investigate. Commander. We cannot risk further damage to this vessel. It is the chapter ship, Dominus. The Inquisitor has every right to request our support. It is not a request. <laughs> Commander, with your leave, we will set our course for this Koromar Prime. Yes, good. That will do for now. I think this is going to be the... Opening mission, yeah. Going by the XCOM 2 plans, this would be the opening mission, so you know, gate crasher. Corruption sites detected. Not spoke to it. If we do not investigate this threat, the consequences will be dire. This is pretty much my class, for which I decided for everyone, so I got my Terminator armor on this guy. He's gonna be pretty much my tank. Range guy with the servo skull. Even though we have an apothecary, I can replace the grenade, but not really necessary. I don't want him to be limited to just being my main healer, and this guy just really just stay at range. I want them to at least be able to help each other a bit. Uh trying out the falchions. I tried the four sealed in the tutorial mission, so give that a shot. So yeah. I switched his weapon to the Titan enemy. He's gonna be mostly at range. He's gonna be pretty much hanging back most of the time. Alright, let's go. And that's a cool animation to play. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh, I literally, for like the most part of like 10 minutes, I was literally looking at all the skill lines. And there's so many. I didn't realize how complicated it's gonna be. Oh wow. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Commander, have your men look for signs of this plague. Be vigilant, brothers. Changing position. Arms off. Ready for battle. All right, let's go. Uh, we want to Unleash me. advance pretty slowly. Uh, the most oh. part. It will be done. Okay, we're taking someone over here, so 
I'm just trying to make it so... It will be done. Now we just stay out of sight for the most part. I'm not sure if I should go on the right hand side of this what area. Is your will? What is your will? As ordered. Knights! There we are. <laughs> Just wait. Just wait. Commander, we've made contact with the enemy. Stop that formation. Yeah, they're out of range. Your orders? Good range. Say. Okay. Since they're going to be way too far for any sort of melee. Burn now. Ah! Bow down. Hey, nipple kill. Okay. So, one AP. I could only really move to here with two of my AP. At once. I'm just worried about that heavy gun right there. I would drive him out of cover. I think right clicking, like, let me try something. So if I did a, yeah, right click actually cancels the ability. Okay, cool. Um, Here. Yeah. And if we went like a four, Get him moving. I
let's not do that. Okay, so you can actually do... No sorts of moves would really put this guy out of line of sight. None whatsoever. You could probably go on the offensive still yes! though. Come on. You know what? Let's just do it. Okay, that's how it works. I must sanctify my I'm really mind. interested just to see how all these yes. abilities work. God. Get up! Get up! Die! 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 Okay. <laughs> The enemy is wounded. The wicked tools cannot stop you. It will be done. Yep, it's out of ammo. Do a reload. And we detected someone over here. Yes, Commander. I'm curious. Ready to serve. Okay, so abilities do recharge. I was New a little command. bit worried when. So you can't spam abilities. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, we can do yes, sir. this move here. I am here to serve. As ordered. Unleash me. I'm curious. Alright, so I can save games. Let's just do that. I'm probably best not to do too many save scum stuff. Oh, at your command. I'm just making it so everyone just stays together. The majority of this. What is your will? His wounds will heal. Try to keep everyone at least. Gratitude. If I understand how the wounding system works in this game. Uh, you want to at least try to have end the mission with uh, full health as much as you can. Pretty much like XCOM. And we'll just end the turn here. I'm pretty sure. Nothing was detected up ahead. Your command. They are close. We will find them, Commander. Alright, the flame rises. Alright, so our enemies should be up here. They're gonna run to this cover down here. Yes, Commander. 
Standing ready. Advancing! Yes, Commander. As ordered. Your orders? At once. What is your will? Oh, I'm, do le I'm actually learning because this weapon can't even overwatch. I what is that your one. will? Wait, that creature. Inquisitor, we have seen the dead walk in this way before. As have I. Hoxwalkers are evidence of warp corruption. This is no natural play. How close could I... Okay, yeah, I can literally just grenade these guys now. Might as well. They had to just get to me. Han. Affirmative. Fire now. Good. I will need to examine this corpse and. I will not tolerate this contamination spreading to my servitors. Do not obstruct me, tech priest. I will follow proper protocols. There we go, just get everyone moving. This is like out of range. Oh, uh, we can do... Let's go for this guy. We are the hammer! By how it's gonna go, they're gonna have to go through the this area here, or are they able to? It's too bit to climb, actually. And I might just do a Overwatch like this. Effort. Now return with my carcass so I can set to work. We will deliver them to you as soon as containment is properly confirmed and sanctified. Be swift about it. If this plague has already spread beyond this planet, then we will have far more ground to cover. I thought there was more. I thought there was going to be one more group.
pretty cool. Unfortunately, I took a little bit of damage at the start. <laughs> at least I healed with my Apothecary, so that should have reduced the wounds down to pretty much nothing. Unfortunately, I forgot to heal the other guy. See our units, okay. I'm just all new to this. Just have to... Also it was only in death does duty end. Alright, well, I'm gonna be going back into to actually do that mission and actually heal my guy. Because yeah, as you can see, he got back to full health. He's absolutely fine. This guy needs to heal for 16 days by taking those minor wounds. Mission. So, literally, I'm going to load. I'll be pretty much loading again, do the mission, but actually heal my guy before I engage that group of enemies. Alright, just completed the mission again. Changed it around, made sure I heal everybody, so let's just to confirm my theory. Since they're all full health, no one's gonna be damaged. Let's just Yep, there we go. See? Only in death. Seriously still? Huh. So I guess that doesn't really affect it, huh? Or it must be a set thing, maybe. Mission objectives achieved, Commander. Our guest wishes to speak with you in the Libras. There. Well, I'll just suck it up and take it. I thought it was going to be a little bit different if you heal people. I guess no matter if you take do take damage, you need to make sure it's not that big. Oh. Huh. How well I'll take the extra days as punishment for trying to cheese the mission. I must commend you on this impressive archive of demonic lore, Commander. It rivals some I've seen in inquisitorial fortresses. I will require it as a base of operations for my studies. I respect your authority in matters of combat, but I must remain until I can ascertain some solution to this plague. I am, of course, open to recommendations on which lines of study you feel would best serve the mission. I must insist, however, on beginning my research with a necropsy of the Poxwalker carcass your brothers recovered. I am certain they hold a key to understanding this corruption. All right then. And now we unlock the research menu. I will conduct a necropsy of the recovered corpse to see what I can learn. Mysteries revealed and <laughs> just forbidden knowledge. Everything else. <laughs> I'm guessing this is like enemy star in actual research. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I shall begin at once. Inform your crew that I am not to be disturbed. Commander, I toil with a critical lack of resources. I request you attend me in the Manufacturum. Let's go see our tech priest buddy. Oh buddies, just tech priest mate. The machine spirit.
My servitors have restored the Manufactorum to operational use, but the edict remains severely damaged. Without access to a proper dockyard, restoration will be slow and limited by the resources we can requisition from Titan or nearby inquisitorial enclaves. As of this moment, reviving the edict's core power output takes absolute primacy. Seems like we got our first upgrade order. <laughs> I'm really curious. I must improve the edict's power output in order to conduct more extensive repairs. So we go to repair this. I must now interface with the logic engines. I trust you have a great deal to attend to. All right. Commander, I have adjusted the star map to display our current sector. However, our intelligence here is sparse. Okay. I suggest we bide our time until the Dominus restores power to our scanners. Checking. All right. Wait for four days. Before anything else, though, I want to just double check my barracks. So just give me two minutes. All right. Let's just keep advancing. There we go. Dominus has restored the star map to its full function. We are receiving a barrage of scanning data and astropathic scrapings from across the sector. This plague appears to have already spread its tendrils far and wide. We are faced with reports of two infected systems. We should monitor this infestation carefully and judge where best to direct our forces while the Inquisitor pursues her answers. Failure will cost many souls. Toy system. The choice system. <laughs> Can't be everywhere at once. Oh my god, I am gonna try. Obviously... Restricted at the moment. Let's just talk. Commander, about let us be efficient. I will not have the edict put at risk, even for an inquisitor. The ship will remain sterile. <laughs> it's a bit weird they don't read out the entire thing, I think it's, they just read the last line. The Baleful Edict has never let any of the Brotherhoods that have travelled in her down. For exacting... That is the way of the Inquisition. Logical driven auguries of flesh, yep. Not so good. and the hands by the officer. Affirmative. There is no active project. 
which is alarmingly inefficient. I have made additional offerings to the Omnissiah to stave off his wrath at such flagrant indolence. Affirmative. You have been the primary vessel for the commander for the past 22 years. How will the war mean any spent of time is approximate? He was a leader in the Grey Knights, so he was revered. Amir. He did not suffer fools, or those that dared countenance his authority. Interesting. Defiance suggests an emotional need to obstruct or obfuscate. Just telling the truth. Can't really afford to lose this ship. Indeed, I serve the Omnissiah. My mechanical limb. That we. That we. His mechanical will that we apply the stars. The Ecclesiarchy's Imperial Creed carries only a muted echo of the Machine God's true will. Come such a word should not surprise an astonish of the role you may reveal the Emperor, but I know it is not your creed to worship him, especially the great knights who can trace their genius seed directly to the Golden Throne. Waiting for new input. I must attend to repairs. Now, I'm just curious though. Is there a reason why I cannot do any of these things? I might have to do something before. Talk to her. We both have work to do. What do you need? This one appears to be some kind of host. An object is nestled within. It is different from what I've seen with these puppets in the past. The work to play God's minions, but his vector is unusual. If we must. The Grey Knights will be needed in this task, and it is your duty to marshal them. I've received the Baleful Edict, lost the commander on the preceding mission. I will not accept such failure under my guidance. I had previously been hunting heretics siphoning power directly from the Hadex Anomaly, not far from your previous campaign. Once I directed my Astra Par to recover the stolen energy, she had the vision I shared with you when I arrived. Message is ominous. Divining the visions of astropaths is an art in itself. But its omen is both dire and imminent. For that I am certain she spoke of a garden is it metaphorical or literal. I must delve into the records of my peers to reveal to reveal if there are similar references I could correlate. God damn it, I can't read. <laughs> if we must. Uh, that's yes, all. you've taken enough of my time. Yep. Uh, let's talk to Ector. Come, let us talk over what troubles you, brother. Is the Inquisition an aid or a hindrance? She already makes demands on a ship badly in need of restitution. We should heed her requests, at least while our goals align, so we are honor bound to her. Even we must respect the authority of the Inquisition when the situation demands it. We may get some leeway for who we are, but the Inquisition answers only to him. I know you invoked us as Chamber Militant. It is a term that has fallen out of fashion. Yet it is an ancient law that each inquisitorial order has a dedicated military arm to use when they require. We, in theory, can be called upon by the Ordo Malice to which she belongs. Its title is somewhat adequate. Adequated. Why use it? It was a strategic decision. Ancient customs are invoked that the Inquisitor should now abide by, such as giving us tactical command in the field. See, it is not only Inquisitors who can play these diplomatic games. All right. By all means. Why do you not lead us? It seems the Emperor has other plans for me. And imperfection means 
I must focus more efforts in a more indirect way. An imperfection? A matter between myself and the Emperor. As ordered by Grandmaster Valdis, my penance is to serve on the Edict, but not leave it. Staying on above the battlefields, I crave to fight on. Nevertheless, your advice will be invaluable. I hope I can be of some use. At least before they have me in turn into a dread not sarcophagus. I hope to do justice in Agavain's legacy. He had a fitting end to his noble life. Like so many of our brethren, he kept his secrets well, but I know he despised the servants of Coyne, most of all, why the Blood God. Why indeed, it is not my place to say. But there was a stillness around the old commander, a seething hatred that I didn't see in him against any other of his enemies. We faced, of course, corn being created by rage would in turn be fed by Argavain's hatred, but that is the nature and irony of chaos. By all means. Alright. I hope that aids you, brother. 